to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. Hear me. I'm about to pray. Please believe me when I tell you, life does not have to be this hard. It is the bankruptcy of something on your head you have not received. Some of you, probably, if you've been part of this vision for up to one year, and your life is not producing any results, check your life there is something you are missing believe me believe me there is the covenant of his presence that can bring you've heard me say it that i entered a covenant with god that i would never meet a person twice for that person's life to change you cannot come if you come to sit down here as a fan unfortunately or supporters club or well wishers it has to be a covenant revelation lord i believe lord i believe that something can come upon my life in spite of my background my lowly estate i believe that this wealth and finance thing can be settled once and for all i believe you can, you are the god of portions you can give me portions even in a strange land I believe as a man of God that something can step upon my life and ministry will no longer be a desert land. I believe as a politician that I can carry a mantle that can fight for me at the gates. In the next two minutes, I'm going to allow you with the Lord. Every dimension that you need to step into, I will leave you in prayer for the next two minutes please i want you to cry from the depth of your heart for some of us is poverty you need to end once and for all for god's sake for some of us is weakness and limitation politicians this may be your chance to access superior grace that produces results businessmen here can be your chance to rise there are young men and young women saying apostle physically speaking i don't have any advantage but the god of heaven can help you pray our global family following online pray in the name of jesus have been given to the church mandates have been given to the church for the kings to be born the mantles to return for the in strength and power Shabaka 
the brother can touch you. have been given to the church. Power has been given to the church. Grace is distributed in the church. For the sons to arise, man to return. The boys to arise, Samuels to rise, for kings to be born, nations to be blessed, for cities to rise, with the victory of kings. Hey. Are you praying? Now hear me please. Listen. Listen. Please listen. Listen. You've heard people come and stand here and everybody will tell you they listen to this message. This grace called favor. I told you my story. How that Esther anointing and that favor came upon my life. For some reason, it is one of the hardest graces upon my life that I've seen people receive. I don't know why. It's easy for people to receive the prophetic, receive the healing anointing. But I don't know what is it about this mantle for favor that has been very difficult. And yet I submit to you by God that if you do not access the genuine anointing help them please the grace for favor there are many things you cannot do in your life this world is a cruel and a wicked world i would never be able to do what god is doing across the globe today outside of the favor of god as i will tell you there are many things i do not know I'm a student myself. I learn and continue to learn. I learn from the Holy Spirit. I learn from Scripture. I learn from our fathers. I learn from people with proven track record. But I can tell you one thing that I understand. I understand the dynamics of favor. Believe me when I tell you. I know what it takes to compel systems and structures to open for you. among the many graces you may desire as i give you one minute again to pray i want you to cry for this grace called favor lord let it come upon my life by your mercy Help them, please. Yeah. 
to Catabala. It's a new season. It's a new season. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The smell of my son is like the field that the Lord had blessed. One more minute, I'm about to speak over your life. Tonight will be one service that you will not forget in a hurry. Hallelujah. 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 There are people what you need to receive is the conviction of every great man that you admire. The first inheritance that you need. Study their mindset, their beliefs. Their convictions. Number two, for some of you, you need the leverage of the name. A compendium of the credibility, the track record, the value, the contribution, and the honor that has been accorded that name. For some of you, what you need are the strategic relationships and connections that provide you a leverage for your work with God for ministry for business for your career your pursuit for some of you in all honesty what you need is physical support that push could be financial could be in terms of physical estates businesses or whatever it is but for everybody here this one is not some i can tell you this last dimension there is a mantle there are graces behind the exploits that you see in business behind the exploits that you see in ministry behind the exploits that you see in politics and governance behind the exploits that you see in career more than all the physical things whether diabolically or genuinely by the holy spirit any extraordinary physical result has a spiritual component that sponsors it unfortunately many have gone diabolic but with the dignity of kingdom integrity you can stand in partnership with scripture and the holy spirit it takes more than being gifted to excel your gift must be anointed there are many gifted people who remain empty. There are many great people whose voices remain silenced because the requisite level of grace is not there. I want to speak over your life. You don't have to kneel or do whatever. Just, just stand with understanding. I came here from the depth of my heart tonight. This is part one. Part two will be on Saturday during the broadcast. Don't miss it call your families and call everybody to connect by faith listen i wish i were not the one doing this if you look at me physically there is nothing in this man physically you would be mistaken i am not that special as a person however that the excellency of power may be on us ordinary men ordinary men helped by a mighty God 
ordinary men not as intelligent as necessary not as eloquent not even as visionary as necessary but when that mighty god comes to protect you and invest his jealousy upon your life your life becomes nothing short of a sign and a wonder who am i your mind is so full of me mortal man In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Hear me. Everything that has tied you that came from your physical paternity, limitations that came from your biological father, biological mother, or your physical territory, I stand by the honor and the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic I break you from it now. Help them please. I break you from it now. I break you from it now. I break you from it now. Every spirit that makes easy things difficult. You saw this with your father. You saw this with your mother. You saw this with your siblings. Sincerely, you have not been able to break through. In the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. And I declare in the name of Jesus, I push you to the next season of destiny. Help that man, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Everything that has covered your glory. So that you are covered. Nothing about you can be seen. Makatosh Kadia. Embrekete Seketa. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I tear that veil right now. Hear me where your physical father cost you i stand by priesthood to bless you anyone by your physical descent who said it will not be well with you i stand by the privilege of the apostolic call i reverse that statement 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 Anyone who said it will not be well with you in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic I veto that statement and I cancel it please pay attention don't be distracted the spirit that insists that you must remain poor and beggarly in spite of your hard work in spite of educational qualification or you rise up and then you go down some of you see good things but you never lay hold of it in the name of jesus and by the power of the prophetic i decree and declare between now and the next three months step into prepared blessings 90 days if i be a servant of god i stand by this apostolic mantle in the next three months step into prepared blessings jobs you did not apply for houses you did not build i speak this by the god who called me hear me every inherited battle they fought your father to his grave they fought your mother to his grave. Now they will not give you peace. I Help them please. In the name of Jesus. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. Always and by all means. 
inherited financial battles inherited family battles inherited career battles they come to an end now two more prayers and we're done my god i wish god could open your eyes to see what is happening in this place I'm hearing the month of August that there are people between now and August. Hear me, between now and August, I stand by Bakatos Katia. Help the help her, please, so she doesn't injure herself. What could not be done throughout 2020, throughout 2021, and even till now, in the name of Jesus, I declare between now and August, step into it, step into it, step at Bakatos. Step into it. Let me prophesy recovery. You have lost money. You have lost friends. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You mishandled favorable opportunities and it slipped your hand. Is there hope for a tree even if it be cut short? The Bible says at the scent of water, I want to speak over your life. In the name of Jesus, I have been commanded to bless. Therefore, I decree and declare everything that has left your life and is not by divine orchestration. I call it back now. Finances be restored. Relationships be restored. Spiritual fire be restored. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now hear me. Every parent here, physical parent now, who is struggling with your child in one area, it looks like the devil wants to wage war over your family. And some of you have been depressed asking, Lord, is this how I'm going to die? No responsible child to rise up. Some of you, even the child, the devil is fighting to make sure you don't even have the child. In the name of Jesus, I'm speaking to our global family first and then to the body of Christ. No one connected to this grace will have a cause to regret over their children. Therefore, by this prophetic word, we release ministering spirits to homes, to schools, everywhere your child is. In the name of Jesus, May they come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. May they be transformed. May they become responsible children. In the name of Jesus Christ, please wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the praise. Amen. Amen. We've been commanded to bless. It cannot be reversed. Amen. Amen. One more time. Amen. Amen. Please let me encourage every parent if God can grant you grace I know it is not easy but if God can grant you grace use this week and speak over your children men you are the priest over your home while your wife and children are sleeping get up in the night praying in tongues and walking around the house laying hands on them tell them don't worry I'm praying for you you just keep sleeping and take authority 
over the spiritual climate of your family stand like the priest that you are and say satan thus far have you come i have drawn a line over this family you have no business over my wife my children my husband and so on and so forth in the name of jesus christ for someone your season of shame and reproach has come to an end finally in the name of jesus christ now please listen very carefully there are people here who are saying apostle i need jesus there's no need wasting your time let's minimize movement please don't say it. just stand we're done i need jesus now and i need jesus fast the greatest inheritance that you can have for the believer is the life of god the life of god being imparted to your human spirit main auditorium all of the overflows outside following online you need jesus number one or you need to rededicate your life you're saying apostle i truly have given my heart to jesus but i need to rededicate my life i'm going to give you two minutes wherever you are with every sense of love and responsibility as i count one to five i'd like you to quickly run and come and stand in front let's honor them as they come are you coming two i need you oh i need thee every hour i need thee come bless me now my savior i come to thee i need thee oh i need thee every hour keep coming god bless you come bless me now my savior three i'm about to pray if you are coming please join them unashamedly do not be ashamed do not be afraid this is home this is family come apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved or not can i come absolutely come join them there is such a thing as the assurance of salvation come to jesus please help those under the anointing thank you hallelujah now please look at me those of you in front here and all the overflows and those watching either live by way of television or the internet or you're watching a rebroadcast here is an opportunity to make jesus lord of your life please do not play with this jesus issue we're not playing church or religion here your eternal destiny depends on this singular decision hallelujah you want to make jesus lord of your life as i lead these precious ones in prayer i want you to join with your heart full of faith knowing that he's right here with you in your room your office wherever it is that you're connecting from thank you all of you for making this decision the bible declares that as many who will come to him that he will in no wise cast away may i please request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender and you say this after me loud and clear say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive you into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name i pray please keep your hands lifted father thank you you always do this to bring glory to jesus and i thank you for drawing these our brothers and sisters young and old alike to jesus thank you for the power of the cross in the name of jesus and by the authority of scripture i decree and declare that according to your confession i declare your sins forgiven 
and I declare that the power of sin, my God, Satan, hell, and the grave, I'm seeing the power of God come on two of you who are in front here right now. I declare it broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare that from tonight, you walk in the newness of life. Eternal life is imparted into your spirit. I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the ministry of the word. Be grounded and established in righteousness. You go forward ever and backward never. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Now may I request that you move to my right. There are counselors waving their hands. They'll have a word with you very quickly and then you'll be back to your seats. Let's honor them as they go. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Just guide those under the anointing. But let's celebrate them until they are done. Hallelujah. Thank you for your patience. One more time, let me please remind you. Thank you. Let me remind you of the Saturday broadcast. All the workers, you are invited. You have the... Uh, Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.